My name is Lynn Ruan. I grew up in a love and working class home in Tallow West, Dublin. As a child, I loved to learn. But something happens to the hope and aspirations of children in working class communities. And as it is rolled away by the class system, we are expected to accept that that's just the way it is. We were drug users and some of us alcoholics at the age of 12. That's just the way it is. Some of my friends' families had very little money to survive. That's just the way it is. Some of my friends had been sexually abused. That's just the way it is. Some of the families in our community had buried multiple children before their time. That's just the way it is. Some of my community are battered down at each and every turn as they try to survive, try to succeed. That's just the way it is. It's the fate of our births, our location, our demographics. How can this be just the way it is? What if it's not meant to be like this? Although my journey has been long and hard and filled with obstacles to overcome, it is a success story, but a story that shouldn't be so exceptional that it captures so many headlines. Imagine what kind of world we would live in if I wasn't a story, if people like me had what they needed to succeed, if society and policies didn't reinforce the class system. So often I hear, people like you want everything for free. People like you are not getting up early enough in the morning. And people like you just don't want to work. I have written my book, People Like Me, in response to that, because I want to show the invisible lines of class that exist in Ireland. When I fell pregnant at just 15, I was told I'd wasted my life. I was talked about in the past tense, and saving myself would prove to be one of the most difficult tasks that I would face. It would be a daily struggle, a struggle that would last 17 years. And the pages of my book are filled with obstacles, but also determination and triumph. A determination and triumph that was facilitated by mentors, families and interventions. I didn't get here alone. I am a little bashed and a little scared, but I've come out the other side. But I am still and always want to be people like me.